Welcome back to 25 Sports Football Friday Week 8. The Olympia Spartans hosting Auburn tonight. Both teams sit at five wins. The winner is guaranteed a playoff spot. Olympia, I give you permission to print playoff t-shirts because you are in the playoffs. The Olympia defense coming up big here. Kyle Geldner, the fumble recovery. Then the Olympia offense. What a two-year run for Coach Eric Lyons and the Spartans. Quarterback Zach Keedy on the keeper. Cohen Manis is going to make him a great block. And he's running for the house. Olympia is going back to the playoffs. They win it 36 zip. Congratulations to the Spartans. Prairie Central taking on Monticello tonight. This is a terrific game. Watch Prairie Central's Gavin Tredenick just blow up this play. Big hit right there by Gavin. But Monticello would strike first in the game right here. A short touchdown run by Monticello on the quarterback option, the pitch, and the score. Now, Prairie Central is going to come back. They got a big game out of number 10, their junior tailback, Hudson Alt. Watch Alt break into the clear for the long run right here. But you see the score. Great football game. But Monticello is the winner by a final score of 21. Also from the Illini Prairie Conference, it's IBC hosting Pontiac. For Pontiac, it's going to be Riley Johnson running hard right here for Pontiac. IBC comes back with a great run by Brendan Coventry. Watch Coventry get to the corner. A terrific run off the quick pass right here. And Coventry takes off for big yards for IBC. But Pontiac is going to keep the ball out of the end zone. It's their freshman with a great name. Amazing King is his name. And he gets the interception. Pontiac gets the win. 32 to 14 in this one. Normal U High needs a win tonight to go into the playoffs, but Lincoln scores a touchdown here to go up 21 to 14 late first half. That's when the game turned on two big plays by Alec Weiland. What a year Weiland's had at quarterback. Look at this strike to Cade Cunningham who gets behind the defense and Cunningham is gone for the game tying touchdown. U High would then get an interception and Weiland would do it again. This time he's looking for his favorite target, Mason Hooper Willis. And I got to tell you, congratulations to the normal U High Pioneers back in the playoffs. What a job by their coach and the Pioneers right there. All right, now to the heart of the Illinois Conference. We start tonight with two undefeated teams. First undefeated Leroy tonight at GCMS. This is basically the championship of the HOI Small School Conference. Leroy is down eight zip in the fourth quarter. Fourth and goal. Bolza Lesnick, their quarterback, is going to throw it to Brody Bennett for the touchdown on fourth down. It's now an 8-6 game, but doggone the slippery football. On the two-point conversion, it, it gets blown up by Mother Nature. Ah, GCMS beats Leroy 8-6. The final score. The Tri Valley Vikings are also undefeated as they take the field for their game versus Tremont tonight. Second play of the game, Cole Klein. His papa is a former Iowa Hawkeye and he's doing the herky right here. Cole Klein goes 50 yards for a Tri Valley touchdown. The defense is then going to get a stop right here on the Turks punt. Kane Danko with the terrific punt return for undefeated Tri Valley. They're on their way to their eighth win of the year. Colton Prosser is going to get a touchdown run right here for Josh Roops, the Vikings. Tri Valley wins it 42 to 8. Prosser's in the clear. Prosser's in the end zone. Tri Valley is undefeated. D Mac and El Paso Gridley tonight. Big game. D Mac is getting healthier and getting better. Conley Landrus, though, a beautiful run right here for El Paso Gridley as he's racing down the sideline. Looks like EPG's going in for a score, but watch Mac Eccles of D Mac break up this fourth down pass. D Mac then takes over in the bag of tricks. Cody Myers calls on the flea flicker reverse. They flip it back to the quarterback, Carson Cassidy. He finds Eccles behind the defense for a touchdown. What a win for DMAC. They keep their playoff hopes alive with a 16-8 win at El Paso Gridley. All right, to Eureka. A record-setting night tonight for Eureka at Ridgeview Lexington. Eureka had over 500 yards rushing. Dawson Dorn right here is going to score a touchdown. And Dawson, it's a nice favor of me to put you on TV because most of the other highlights belong to Mason Bowles. Bowles had 434 yards rushing and seven touchdowns for Mason Bowles. Eureka wins at 54-20, a great win for the Hornets. All right, now to homecoming night at Farmington. Bounce back night for the Farmers. After suffering their first loss of the year last week, the Farmers tonight hosting LVC, Lewistown Valley, Cuba. And Farmington, a little disappointed with their defense last week in that loss at Anawan Weathersfield. The defense showed up tonight. Thomas Seaborn right here is going to uh, blow up this play for a quarterback sack for the boys in purple and gold. Then quarterback Lane Wheelwright's looking for Boston Smith, and he's Boston Strong right down the middle of the field. Great catch by Smith. That's going to set up uh, a touchdown run by Logan Utt running behind Colin Barron's. Barron's doing some great blocking. Logan's in the end zone. Farmington's back in the win column, 56-6. to 
Farmers. Blackout night at where it all started. Elmwood Brimfield. Great to see Coach Hallis's blackout for Easter Seals night. They got a big night from Bo Windish. Windish with a terrific run right here. Had a big night running the ball. Boy, Elmwood Brimfield's not going to make the playoffs, but they are playing some really good football late in the year. Hey, Abingdon Avon, Old A-Town with a fake punt right here. They're going to throw the ball to Jacob Hall for one of our favorite highlights of the night. Look at the punter turn quarterback and Jacob Hall, a nice gain. But you see the score. Elmwood Brimfield's a winner tonight, 22 to 14. Princeville hosting Rushville. Princeville needs a win for their playoff hopes, but Rushville scores first. Ryan Roymolds with the touchdown right here. Great run as he goes inside, then darts to the outside and takes it to the house for a score. But Princeville came back by throwing the old pigskin. Logan Carruthers, the coach's kid, was terrific tonight. Watch the catch right here by Tayshawn Kieser. Kieser's going to get the shoestring catch right here. Beautiful catch. Diving catch. Then it's a, you like that catch. How about this one by Josh Hunt? Carruthers to Josh Hunt for a touchdown. Wow! Princeville wins it 26 to 12. Also tonight, Hayworth a winner and Stark County a winner. Stark County is 8-0. Quickly to cross country, Middle line I Championships at Detweiler today. In the girls race, Washington Sophia Ramirez, the individual champ. The Panthers, the team champ. In the boys race, Morton's Josh Weeks is the individual champ. The Potters, the team champ. If you love volleyball, you got to get to the Shirk Center. I'll be there tomorrow for the big Bloomington Central Catholic Saints Fall Classic. I was there tonight. Normal U High went 2-0. Levin Snow, the big kill. Metamora went 2-0. Avery Bedwell to Hannah Yoder for the tip. Morton went 2-0. They rallied to beat Lincoln. A great win for the Potters. More football is next on 25 Sports Football Friday.